Hey everybody, how's it going? Today, I am going to be rebuilding this 2012 Generation 4 5.3 liter LS. This one currently has VVT and it has the whole DOD AFM system, which I've already taken, I already took this plate off to pull it out of the truck. But we are gonna be deleting it, doing a traditional three bolt camshaft. And I'm actually here with my brother today. And have you ever been inside of one of these LSs? Uh, this will actually be the first time working on an LS. So. Yeah. First time LS guy, see if we can convert them. So we're gonna get this thing torn down, cleaned up, remachined, and then we'll rebuild it, reinstall it in the vehicle, as well as redo the tune, because we are gonna change the camshaft to a, a, a very, very small cam. That oil is actually not that bad. No, compared to what she was saying, she said it was all sludgy, but that looks super clean, just a and little it's dirty. cold for a while. Every bolt you take off, put in this basket. Okay. Uh, you want me to start on the oil cover? Yeah, so those are going to be 10 millimeter, and you'll take the coil brackets off first, okay. but take them off as one complete unit. Yeah. Okay, first impression, this engine's actually really clean. If we look at this side, this engine has 174,000 miles on it. And yeah, this stuff all looks not too bad. This is all dirty just from us removing harnesses and crap, pulling the engine out, but inside, not bad. Uh, time for that. Yeah. 10 millimeter. Uh, no, it'll be. Uh, well, let's get these bolts off and we'll take the steam port. Two off. There are 15 bolts holding it down. The big ones are going to be 15 mil. And the small ones are going to be uh, the little 10 mil beads on top. And these are all the 10 mils? Yeah. And I'll just crack. Yeah, you can take those off straight with the impact. Okay. They're not tight. Uh, Use the built-in anvil one. The other one to your right. That one's got a little more torque to it. Yeah. And then these are the metrics down here? Yeah, so the real tall 12 point is your 10 millimeter.
pop up the head? Yes, sir. Where's the mallet at? Shouldn't need it, actually. No. I usually, uh, I take a couple rags. These aren't too bad at to top. And I just grab it. Or just like that. <laughs> I'd say she was probably smoking a little bit. That dude is bad. I mean, check out this side. There's tons of crap all over the place. This is from us. That's definitely from us. Yeah, so we're gonna take this block 10th owl over. I'm gonna put new pistons in it, rebalance the crankshaft, and put some new rings in it. 10 millimeter. Pop these bolts out. Uh, those bolts will save, but the plastic trays you can throw away. Got it. <laughs> and if lifters come with it, throw the lifters away. Yeah, we don't want them. <laughs> these are the monstrosity uh, Is that DOD. The Activation. Yeah, see, it's like it's got this big spring on top. Yeah. Damn, pull it. Piece of junk. <laughs> Fucking garbage. What year was their, their core? 2012. I don't know, they haven't been doing it for that long. I know it was a new thing, but. Yeah, dude, he was uh, 2008 for Ellis. Pick up next. Yes, sir. Uh, you got 10, 10 there and 13 on the nut. Okay, we got the oil pan knocked off. Looking inside the crankcase now. And again, I gotta say, not too bad. Bearings all feel really smooth, no discoloration, obviously. So we'll slam these pistons out. I'm gonna number them first, just so the rods go back in order. It doesn't really matter because we're, we're, we are replacing pistons, but for redundancy's sake, we'll do that. Keep moving forward. We got the first connecting rod out. Bearing looks really good. These are a fractured cap connecting rod. And what that means is when they make this rod, the rod is created as one big piece and they bore the hole through it, hone it, and they literally will crack this off. And you can see that by the texturing on that rod. And what that does is it creates an extremely strong connecting rod because all those little micro micro pores line up perfectly together and won't let it stretch around or move on itself and that's why these gen 4 connecting rods are so strong and why you can make almost a thousand horsepower fairly reliably if the tune-up is safe on these pretty cool They have six bolt mains? Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to go. It's a short block that can handle like 900 horsepower, but only makes 300. Yeah. From GM. 
it's because it's all the same architecture. Like, if they're gonna make a supercharged Corvette that makes 660 horse, this gets this benefits from that engineering. Exactly. Just make the same part. Exactly. All right, now we get the fun of cracking the crank bolt loose, which is torqued to like 250 foot pounds. I'm Where's assuming that? the pneumatic's not gonna do it. Breaker bar? Yeah, and you take this dude. Well on it. No, this is to keep it from spinning. Shove that right there. And I'm gonna swing the crank around onto it. Do you want it hitting on, on it. the wall or on the cam? Yeah, it don't matter. Just hang out. It'll be easier to push them down. Because you're not, you're not 200 pounds, so. Yeah. Dad's impact to pull these off. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> Sounds like uh, we need an impact. <laughs> Shove it in there. All right, I'm gonna take your approach and use the downward thrust. See what I was picking up on bottom. Give her some steam. Right, let's switch in there. I'm not gonna crack the block. And then give her some balls. Hop on a little bit. <clears throat> I don't weigh 200 pounds. Oh my fucking god. Oh, we need the impact. For sure, we need the impact. If you can't do it by yourself, enlist the help of a half inch impact. Ready? Send it. Too easy. Save these bolts. I think it's already on an impact. TLS can. He's stupid. He's so gentle. Alright. Moving a long. Okay, that's. Yeah. Sick. You already got the side bolts out? Uh, yeah. 
Oh, no, I still gotta do, I know you want to take those out. Surprised, I thought they'd be forked in a bit tighter. No, those only go to 18 or 22 pounds. Okay, I've got all of the hard components torn out of this block. Check out how nice these bearings look. Again, this is a 175,000 mile LS. Look how perfect these bearings are. Very nice. Got the block honed for the new pistons. We also put the new springs in the heads for the new cam. Everything is totally cleaned up, ready for assembly. What time is it? It is 11.14. 11.14. I think we started working on it probably around 5.30 or so. Took a break for dinner, but just freaking powered through the night, crushed the job, the dirty work is over. Now, once we get the pistons in, we can balance the crankshaft, go ahead and assemble the engine, and that's the fun, clean work. So, I'm super glad we got it knocked out tonight. I'm gonna go home and get some sleep, and um, see you guys next time.